Okay, so we're going to do a test here. Raise your hand if you were watching my videos in October of 2008. Anyone? Anyone? Uh, any, anyone? Uh, well, if you were, if, if you have been following me for that long, then first of all, I congratulate you, and I high-five you just for being a legend, for being around this long. But also, um, I think that you might recognise the team that I'm going to be using in this battle. Uh, this is one of my favourite teams um, that I used back in 4th gen. Um, it was back when Deoxys Speed was uh, put into OU for a brief period of time, um, around that time in October of 08. Deoxys Speed was thrown into the OU metagame of 4th gen. Um, it was soon deemed too powerful for that metagame and was then uberized. Again, uberized, that's a word. Um, but uh, this was one of my favourite teams back in the day. Really enjoyed using it. And I thought, you know what, Deoxys Speed is back in OU now. So, you know what, why not use it? Let's use it. Let's see uh, how this team does in the 5th gen metagame. And, um, you know, I'm really psyched to, psyched to try it out. So, I would usually lead off with uh, Knockdown with Sophos. But, um, because of the 5th gen team preview, I decide to lead with Donphan. I look at his team, and I see it's pretty weak to Stealth Rocks. I'm going to lead with Donphan, try and get my Rocks down first turn, but he does taunt me with Crobat. So, not good. Not a good start. I'm going to have to go out to Rachi and uh, see if I can sponge any here. I was predicting either a Toxic or a U-Turn or any kind of, uh, you know, poison move maybe. Uh, even a brave bird would have done not too much to me. So uh, he's going to super fang which I should have seen coming. Um, Crobat obviously getting access to super fang now uh, which I think it got access to in like platinum or something or a uh, heart gold soul silver or something. But um, I'm going to go for the psychic because I don't want to over predict early game. Don't want to be setting up a sub when he could potentially go for a taunt on me and I don't want to just uh, be setting up in general. So uh, he goes to Vaporeon. Psychic does a nice little chunklet. Not too much but uh, it's going to be at the point where uh, I can judge how much a school is going to do with after a calm mind and from then I'm thinking uh, luckily I don't get the burn which I was kind of afraid of um, but now I can substitute safely and behind his sub uh, he will not be able to take out that sub because he cannot do over 101 HP damage to me so behind the sub and I can freely set up a second calm mind now after a couple more lefties gain I'll be in the range to set up another sub after this but um, it gives me a nice opportunity to go for a second calm mind because I'm pretty sure sure that um, even though I have like 176 special attack EVs, uh, this thing won't be able to do too much to Vaporeon unless I get a couple of boosts in. I'm going to get two Calm Minds and then go for the Thunderbolt after that because um, hopefully I'll be able to two-hit KO after you know that range. So I'm going to go for a sub here uh, just in the off chance that I can live two Scalds uh, now that I have two Calm Minds up. Um, if I don't, that's fine, but if I do manage to live two Scalds, it means that I'll have a sub up for the poke that comes in after Vaporeon is dead. So now that I do have this, uh, you know, safely behind the sub, I can go for a plus two Thunderbolt, gauge how much it does, and uh, hopefully live another Scald, because, uh, you know, if I do, it's going to give me the advantage when he brings in his uh, his Revenge, uh, Revenge Killer, whatever he wants to bring in. Um, but uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to live two Scalds. Uh, I thought I may be able to, but I just didn't. Uh, and uh, obviously, don't have enough uh, HP for a sub, but this range, I'm thinking Thunderbolt's probably going to be a clean hit, uh, kill unless he wants to go for the protect I thought about that for a little bit if he did want to go for the, the protect I could have potentially set up another calm mind um, but uh, it was a bit of a risky play and I didn't want to you know um, kind of jinx it or anything uh, along those lines but um uh, yeah, I do get the kill on Vaporeon, which is great. The thing's dead. Uh, and now, I want to stay in because I'm not sure if he's going to be bluffing the Scarf or whether he is actually Scarfed. Now, Heracross usually are Scarfed, but sometimes people bring them in and bluff it just to, you know, either set up a sub or something else cool like that. So I stayed in and psychic Psychic would have been a clean kill on him anyway. Um, but I... Even though Jirachi's dead, it now gives me the perfect opportunity to bring in Donphan. Uh, I can freely set up my Stealth Rock, which is going to cripple his Regice and his Crobat, and uh, not the, re the rest of his team aren't really going to like it in general. So that's great. Um, I do have a nice Ice Resistant in Azumarill, which this team, I just love how it, I don't know, the synergy works pretty nicely, and, you know, bulky Azumarill working off Donphan and blah and blah. It works well. But um, he does have a Cress, and that thing is a giant roadblock in my team. Now, the Deoxys speed build that I went for does not carry Shadow Ball. I do not have Toxic on this team, so that's not going to be the way to go. So I'm thinking the only way to take this uh, Cresselia down is to put it to sleep with Noctowl. 
bring in Sophos, and um, after it's gone to sleep, I can pummel it with Deoxys Speed with Ice Beam, or I can pummel it with Double Edge from Azumarill. Those are my two options, or I, I mean Waterfall from Azumarill I can pum pummel it with. So um, I'm going to bring in Sophos. As you can see, he takes nothing, nothing from the freaking Ice Beam. I realize that Sophos is female, but I need to change the gender. Uh, been a bit of a gender bender today, but um, that's fine. I can I can fix that, no problem. Um, I do take the Toxic, which is not very favorable, but um, I'm gonna get the Diamond uh, the diamond Luck, uh, as I call it, because, you know, Hypnosis was 70 accuracy in Diamond, and I'm gonna hit the Hypnosis. So, perfect, very nice. Um, in comes a Skun Tank. I'm not quite sure what it wants to do, um, but uh, I'm going to switch out to Azumarill on that turn. Um, I think that was a double switch there. It was a double switch, but um, I don't know what the Skun Tank's going to want to do to my Azumarill. So I'm going to bring back in Dawn Fan. I know I can live any hit thanks to the Sturdy. And uh, really great thing that I did bring back Dawn Fan because he's actually going to try and explode on me, which uh, isn't going to take me out because, of course, Explosion did get nerfed this generation. So uh, it's going to leave me around 156. And at that point, um, I know that Reg Eyes can easily kill me. I mean, Regice could have killed me from the off with an Ice Beam, but um, Regice and Donphan are both base uh, 50 speed, and I am going to win the speed tie here. I don't have any speed invested. I doubt he does either. Uh, and so I'm going to win the speed tie, but the Ice Beam is going to take me out. And uh, judging by how much Ice Beam did to my Azumarill earlier, I'm pretty much certain this is a Specs, uh, Specs Regice set. So I'm going to go into Hitmonchan. I'm going to try and force him to switch to Crobat and uh, make him predict the Drain Punch. Uh, and in fact, I'm going to go for the Thunder Punch. The Thunder Punch would have probably taken out Regice from that range, but did he want to go to Crobat, which he in fact did, uh, a Thunder Punch is going to be a clean KO on that thing, and I get the prediction correct, which is really nice. At least that thing is out of the way and uh, is gone. So this Hitmonchan is in fact a set made by Banana292, one of the legends of the old YouTubian days, and it is impish. It is an impish Hitmonchan. Has some defense EVs, has some HP EVs, which is going to allow me to live a close combat from Heracross, Drain Punch my health back and uh, finish him off with a Mac Punch. Um, so yeah, it's a Life Orb set with uh, Bolt Beam Punches, Drain Punch and Mac Punch. And it works to perfection. It really is a really, really nice set. So uh, I'm going to go for the Mac Punch just to try and take that Heracross down. But he does switch. He probably saw that coming. Goes to Cresselia to wall it nicely. And at this point, I just want to gauge how much uh, a Thunder Punch will do. I want to see if he's more specially or physically bulky. And judging by how little that does to Cresselia, Earlier. It kind of makes me sad. I'm really sickened inside, deeply saddened that uh, that did not um, do anything to Cresselia. So I'm going to switch out, going to go to Sophos because I don't want him waking up and uh, killing my Hitmonchan when I can use it for a Mac Punch on the Heracross later. So uh, I'm going to go to Sophos here and uh, hopefully try and get a second Hypnosis hit uh, with that Diamond Luck I hope I'm going to get going on and uh, put him to sleep again. As long as I put him to sleep, um, then Roost on the next turn and then Whirlwind him out, his sleep turns will be reset. That's exactly what I want to do. So I'm going to put him to sleep first of all. Um, I know he has one guaranteed turn of sleep because he was faster than my Noctowl and therefore he's going to get one turn of sleep now, which is his technical first turn of sleep that he has to have. Um, so I'm going to get the Roost off cleanly. Toxic is taking me down, but it shouldn't really be much of an issue because at this point all Noctowl is going to be doing is phasing and uh, getting as much Stealth Rock damage on the rest of his team as possible. So um, he is going to stay in and I'm just hoping he gets the second turn of sleep. Um, he could potentially wake up on this turn, but he's already had a first turn wake, so I'm hoping it's not going to happen as second time and uh, thankfully it doesn't he stays asleep I get to whirlwind him out and sleep turns are now reset which is fantastic next time crest comes in I should hopefully be prepared for it bring in Azumarill and waterfall and hopefully take the thing out now in comes Regice uh, this range after stealth rock damage is going to be an easy kill with nightshade so that's what I'm going to do I know that Noctowl can easily outspeed the uh, Regice it is faster than my Don fan and therefore um, by default it's going to be faster than the Regice too so Noctowl has pretty much done his job at this point um, uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to bring in Heracross and try and take me out, uh, and I'm pretty sure he's going to go for, with the close combat over the Stone Edge. He probably doesn't want to risk the miss, so he's going to go with the close combat, which is fine. It does mean that I get to bring in something safely to revenge him with. Um, I mean, he's at such low HP anyway, but uh, I don't want to go to Hitmonchan, because if I go to Hitmonchan, I'm going to be stuck with that guy in as he brings in Cresselia, because I know he's going to bring in Cress here, and uh, I want to get as much power on him as possible with a hit. Um, so I go to Deoxys Speed. I know that he won't want to stay in on that with Heracross. If I'd gone to Azumarill, there was the chance that I could have not gone for the Aqua Jet and 
predicted his switch, therefore going for the waterfall, and he could have predicted that and stayed in and close combated, so Dioxus Speed was the best and most favourable switch. So, again, Ice Beam on the switch in, I get a second Ice Beam with his appointed first turn of sleep, and this is going to be my third Ice Beam here with his hopefully not waking up second turn of sleep, which he doesn't wake up, and from this range I'm thinking hopefully an Ice Beam can kill, it's looking very shady, especially after leftovers, but um, I'm going to go for it, it's actually going to get a crit, which um, apparently according to him that didn't matter, he didn't have Moonlight, um, he had Luna Dance, which was interesting, but uh, a Luna Dance would have got past to Heracross, therefore allowing him to live Stealth Rock switch in, because in this generation Luna Dance goes before Stealth Rocks, so Heracross would have come in at full health, but from that point, Deoxys Speed can easily outspeed uh, a Scarf Heracross, and I would have Psycho boosted and killed him, um, and I had multiple other options with Azumarill and Aqua Jet in the wings, so uh, there we go, that's going to be the game, it was a really, uh, really interesting game, pretty close fought, um, both, I mean, he was using some pretty interesting stuff as well. That Skun Tank explosion really caught me off guard. But uh, this team is back. I'm psyched to use it. I'm really uh, enjoying it. It's uh, I've only had a couple of matches with it so far, but uh, it's so I just forgot how much fun it is to use. Really fun team. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully bring you some more matches with it soon. Um, so that's about it. Uh, I'm probably going to do a quick video about Battle for Charity after this. Maybe I might just tag this into the end of this video. Um, if you don't know, Battle for Charity 3 is happening this weekend. Um, starting tomorrow, I'm going to be streaming from 6pm Eastern tomorrow, uh, which is 11pm GMT for you British lads and lasses. Um, we're going to be uh, streaming all weekend from Friday through Monday, so it should be a good time. Uh, I've got a slot tomorrow night, and then I've got a slot on Sunday night, I believe. Um, I will upload streaming videos to my channel when I'm going live there, just to give you guys some notice, um, but uh, otherwise, uh, just uh, go check out the links in the description. I'll leave the Battle for Charity uh, link uh, to the site and the uh, YouTube channel and the video that Josh made about it so you can all uh, keep your eyes open and uh, see what's going on with that. Um, but there you go. That's going to be the end of uh, what I've got to say for today. Um, make sure you check out my Twitter, my Facky Book pages, all the links that you love in the description. And um, yeah, the team's back. Leave me a like. And that is all, people. Goodbye.